Hello, my name is Peter Storstrup and I'm the corresponding author to the article Standardizing Terminology and Assessment for Orofacial Conditions in Juvenile Idiopathic Arthritis. Arthritis in the temporomandibular joint is a common finding in patients with juvenile idiopathic arthritis. The condition is referred to as TMJ arthritis. Initially, TMJ arthritis may occur without any signs and symptoms. However, as the condition progresses, it may lead to orofacial pain, dysfunction with a significant impact on general quality of life. In addition, TMJ arthritis may also impact dentofacial growth and development and can lead to degeneration of the joint components. Management of TMJ arthritis involves interdisciplinary efforts involving specialties like pediatric rheumatologists, maxillofacial surgeons, pediatric dentists, special trained orthodontists, physiotherapists and orofacial pain specialists. Within the last decade, increased clinical and research attention has been given to the orofacial manifestation of juvenile idiopathic arthritis. However, as research has increased, so has the confusion with the terminology used. So the aim of the present study was to propose standardized consensus-based terminology to optimize communication across healthcare providers involved in management of TMD arthritis. We also wanted to propose the best method of assessment for each of the terms defined. The study group consisted of 28 experts representing 22 European and North American centers. All relevant specialties were involved in the study group. Using a sequential approach involving item generation, content validity assessment and Delphi study, we defined seven operational terms. The seven operational terms are TMJ arthritis, TMJ involvement, TMJ arthritis management, dentofacial deformity, TMJ deformity, TMJ symptoms and TMJ dysfunction. A specific definition was linked to each of the seven terms. It is beyond the scope of this presentation to go over all of the seven definitions. However, let's just take a look at the important relationship between the terms TMJ arthritis and TMJ involvement as this is an area of confusion to many of us. TMJ arthritis is now defined as the presence of active inflammation in the TMJ. In contrast, the less restrictive term TMJ involvement has also been introduced defined as abnormalities presumed to be the result of TMJ arthritis. The term TMJ involvement is intended for clinical situations in which no contrast enhanced MRI verification of active TMJ inflammation has occurred, but where signs, symptoms and radiological findings suggest the presence of former or active TMJ arthritis. It can also be used in patients with no current MRI evidence of active inflammation known as TMJ arthritis, but with abnormalities indicating previous TMJ arthritis. In addition, we also propose the best method of assessment for each of the seven operational terms based on the definition given to the specific term. Standardized terminology provides an optimal platform for communication across healthcare providers involved in management of juvenile idiopathic arthritis. We encourage clinicians and researchers to go with the proposed definitions and terms as a reference standard for the future work. I hope you find our article relevant and useful for your clinical work. On behalf of all authors, I would like to thank you for your attention.